It's time to check out NZNS Nelson Airport by NZA Simulations and it is freaking awesome. Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm really pleased to show you some awesome airport scenery add-on by NZA Simulation. There's a couple actually I'm going to be showing you. NZNS which is Nelson and that's where we're at right now but also I'm going to show you a freeware add-on of uh, put together to Motueka, which is not too far away from here. It's in the top of the South Island in here in New Zealand. And a big shout out to the uh, team at NZA Simulations who uh, hooked me up with a copy here so I could show you what it's all about. And if it's detail and an airport add-on you're looking for, well, go no further. This thing is very, very cool. Now, I might be a little bit biased because I'm a Kiwi and I love New Zealand scenery, but... The moment you drive in here, you've got the overpriced car park parking. We've all been there, let's be honest. But look at this cool little piece of scenery as you drive in. It is awesome. So let's just jump over the top here. It's going to be a bit of an interactive uh, session here as we look around. But you've got the car park. Plenty of cars sitting in there. A really nice detailed look right there. You've got the proper control tower. And you get a bit of a view across the airfield itself. You can see some of the ATR-72-500s there in the distance, which are a regional aircraft here in New Zealand. It looks like a jet stream with the yellow tail there, just in the uh, centre left of the screen. Uh, but uh, we'll take a quick look around this hangar here. This is a regional maintenance hangar. And we'll drop down in here and look at that shiny concrete floor. We've got a few aircraft sitting in here. These, uh, Once again, we've got the ATR-72 right there. Uh, and the one in the background there is in the black livery, which is actually the All Blacks, which is the famous rugby team of New Zealand that's modelled off uh, off them, the All Black colour. Over here we've got the Dash 8 Q300s, the other regional uh, aircraft that's used here in New Zealand when tripping between some of the regional airports. And look at that nice shiny uh, concrete going on. But look at that. Love the detail right there. I've plonked myself down here in the control tower. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the detail in there. It is so cool. You get a nice view. It's sort of an early morning here uh, at the airport at the moment and a beautiful sort of landscape view in all directions. Look at that sun coming up over there. We've even got a uh, some sort of photocopier here. Uh, NZA simulations on the computer screens right here. It looks like we've got a 777 there on the screen. Uh, we've even got staplers, pens. Uh, looks like NZA coasters. Are you guys doing those? And mugs also. Are you guys doing it? If you are, just let me know. Let me know. I'm keen to get some of those. Uh, that's the top of the South Island. You can see that blue looking shape. It looks like some dodgy weather coming. Got a hand radio, some uh, manuals there along with CB and some binoculars. And we've also got the uh, little magazine open here at NZNR, which is another airport that these guys do. Very, very cool uh, piece of add-on scenery. And we drop down here into the actual uh, apron itself. And uh, this is how they do it. Over here in the regional airports, you've got the little sort of temporary um, little lanes there that you walk through when you come on and walk on and board, I should say, onto these aircraft. And of course, the uh, ATR 7500, you board in the back. It's a little trick for young players. If you are che uh, choosing your seat, you can choose one at the back there and you, you're first off. A lot of people choose the front ones. Uh, a little bit of local knowledge, get into it there, boys. Now, I'm about to go inside the terminal and this absolutely blew me away. Love the entries looking here, but check out some of the stuff that's going on in here, ladies and gentlemen. We have got the <laughs> baggage carousel. Look at this. I tell you what, man, my bags are coming out. I wonder where mine's going to come out. It'll probably be the last bag, let's be honest. But we've got the arrivals board right here showing the different types of uh, flights that are coming in. We've got Sounds Air and we've got Air New Zealand, which is accurate to real life. I love it. Look at that bag. These guys are loving life. Look, you've already got your bag, mate. Move on. And look at this up here. I love it. That looks absolutely sensational. Golden Bay in Takaka. Some local sites right there. If you're feeling like uh, you had too much to drink, get in there and uh, go to the toilet. And look at that. See, that billboard just changed. Now we've got uh, Kahurangi National Park. Check out those moving billboards. How good is that, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, we've got the exit here. And over here in New Zealand, a lot of uh, names are also translated into Māori, which is the uh, indigenous language over here. So Putanga, uh, which is uh, the Māori word for exit. So we've got that going on there. We've got the subline coffee and come in here. This guy's very well dressed as a barista. Good on you, mate. Get in there. And uh, we'll move our way over here and look at some of this detail in here. 
And uh, hey, you're missing out on business here, Wayfarer. So these are all accurate uh, representations of uh, the internal goings on at the uh, Nelson Airport. Now those those signs up there, no ID, no service, no exceptions. That is what we've got over here. That is the true replication. And it even looks like the uh, 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 the uh, licenses to serve al- alcohol are on the uh, wall there. Get in there, boys. Well done. McCashins Bar. Now, I'm pretty sure McCashins is in relation to Max Brewery, which is a local brewery, quite a well-known one over here in New Zealand, uh, up in this region. So I'm pretty sure it's the McCashins family that started that. So I assume that's what that's all about. Have we got Max on tap here? No, it's hard to say. We've got some water right there. That looks like the entrance up to the uh, Koru Club, Club, which is the uh, sort of the lounge. But this thing here, this really cracked me up, everybody. This is so, this is exactly what it looks like. You've got your little check-in machines right here, and that's where you, you, you get your little peel-off uh, tickets that you put on your bag, your luggage tags, and you rip it off, and then you put your rubbish down in that little slot right there. <laughs> and then you've got to weigh your own bags and check them in using the barcode right there, and that little uh, thing there. Uh, uh, pushes the bags up into the moving carousel. You've got the special assistance. You've got the guy there sitting there to help you out if you're having a few issues. And then uh, here goes some of the check-in for Sounds Air, Origin Air, and Golden Bay Air. And uh, here goes the oversized baggage uh, s- slot right there. But I tell you what, this is awesome. So accurate. So ac- Whoa, hold on a minute. <laughs> some of the local boy racers... They're in there, although, I mean, how do they afford that ute? Anyway, let's move out here, everybody. I mean, great job, guys, on the um, the internals right there. Absolutely sensational. I'm going to jump over the top here. You can see the Nelson sign right there. Look at the, some of the detail there on the apron. Really great. Uh, it looks like we've got a GA aircraft sitting around. Uh, we'll move away over here to another maintenance hangar. As I said, we've got those ATR-72s lined up over there. Uh, just waiting to... Actually, I tell a lie. That there is a Dash 8, uh, that is an ATR, and the one in the back is an ATR also. And so as you can see, we've got the uh, Air New Zealand uh, cargo containers sitting around that's uh, very true to life. And a, and a hangar in here with a few things, we've got it looks like a something like a snap-on toolbox, mobile toolbox, toolbox right there, some spare parts up there. A little bit empty here at the moment. Some of these aircraft are obviously up here, uh, up and about uh, taking passengers. We've got Origin Air right here. Looks like a Jetstream 32, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure. But we'll jump over the top here. And you get to start to get a really good feel, once again, for the absolute detail that the guys have put into this airport. Just really, really fantastic. What, GA, uh, cheeky GA aircraft just parking out here? Oh, that's me. Ha! Kiwi, get in there, boy. Cheeky as. And we move over here. Uh, we've got the emergency department on the uh, just to the side of the maintenance hangar an ATR in there, maybe getting a wash or something similar, or a little bit of maintenance. And then as you go down here, you're going to actually see a lot of uh, real life uh, businesses. So you've got Helicopters Nelson right here with a, uh, a helo just sitting out the top there. We've got some, uh, looks like Z Energy right there, which is certainly a brand over here, which is the Shell brand for those of you playing at home. And if we move over onto this uh, outer part of the airfield right here, we've got the Robinson Helicopter Company. Uh, we'll move over here. We've got a couple of uh, rescue helicopters here. This is the uh, rescue helicopter service. Uh, we move over here. It looks like a crop dusting or Nelson Aero Club Incorporated. That kind of looks like a crop duster to me. And some other hangars here, which are uh, obviously a little bit closed up at the moment. Origin Air Base over in this part of the airport. And uh, we'll just scroll up here. Beautiful time of day to take a look at an airport, I've got to say. And if we move over here, you can get a really good feel for what the airport looks like. And they've done just an absolutely sensational job. I've got to say, look at the uh, textures on the runway right there. Now, a little bonus for those uh, Kiwis perhaps watching over here. Let's uh, speed up my zoom. I, this stuck out like uh, the proverbial over here. It's the Mitre 10 Mega. It's a local hardware store here in New Zealand. And the bright orange, doesn't matter what city you're in. Ha! <laughs> it sticks out like anything. And over here on the edge here, we've got the uh, the golf course. So, yeah, you don't want to be short on um, short finals and accidentally take out a few trundlers, but there you go. So, there goes Nelson Airport. I'm going to go and quickly check out the freeware, the Mochuaka Airport, everybody. But uh, once again, if you if you like what you see here, and let's be honest, they've done a fantastic job. You can see 
uh, some of those uh, grass runways over there too, by the way. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description. Go and support these guys. I put out a ton of really good free wear. And so go and look on uh, some sites and you can uh, get a hold of that. But I'll put the link to both this and Macho Acre down in the uh, down in the comments. So you guys, or in the description, I should say, in case you guys are keen to pick it up. I mean, yeah, great job. So let's go and quickly check out Macho Acre and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, here we are at Macho Acre Airport, everybody. NZMK and uh, Tasman Fire Station right on the edges here. Those are the actual signs. And you can actually see through the top of the uh, clear plastic roof right there. But there goes the uh, fire appliance sitting in there. Tasman Volunteer Rural Fire. So the locals, they help out uh, with the uh, any emergencies that might occur. And as we jump over the top here, I'll just give you a bit of an overview of this airport. We've got this asphalt runway running through the centre of the airport. Uh, with uh, a few sort of worn-in taxiways, I believe those are, there to the uh, left-hand side. We've got the windsock sitting here over beside the main road. It uh, looks like one of the large factories here has been uh, recreated on the side. What have we got going on here? We have got Tasman Tanks. Get in there. Tasman is the sort of the local area, uh, the, the generic area that you're uh, in right here. And uh, if we move over here, you can see that uh, we've got a hangar here of some description. Let's get in close. Argus Aviation. There we go. A nice polished floor once again. We've got the Holiday Park over in the background. Get in there with your camper vans. Very nice uh, part of the world to stay in over here. In fact, um, year on year, the Tasman region, Nelson, Tasman, the highest number of sunshine hours in New Zealand uh, throughout the year. Looks like we've got a vineyard in the background there. So if you're a bit partial to a few wines, get in there, boy. Treat yourself. Uh, drink in moderation, obviously, or get an Uber. It's up to you. We've got the windsock sitting on the side of some um, little local private hangars here. This actually might be a grass runway right beside here, potentially. I'll need to check that out. I should have done my research. Not going to happen. We've got our fuel tanks right there. And as we get down a bit closer here, I remind everybody, this is free wear. Uh, freeware add-on right here by NZA Simulations. We've got the New Zealand flag. Make sure you salute on the way past. And right here we've got the Macho Acre Aero Club logo on the side of the big sliding doors of the uh, of the hangar. Someone's parked their jet here. Very standard affair around here, no doubt. Uh, that was sarcasm. We've got scenic flights and a hangar round cafe in the in the side of a, a shipping container. Very nice use of that. Uh, some cool signage on the side here. We've got skydiving Able Tasman for those of you who like jumping out of a perfectly fine aircraft. There you go. And the scenic flight uh, logo and sign right there. Nice little picnic tables just dotted around uh, just to bring a bit of uh, environmental feel. I don't even know what that means. Looks good. Looks good, doesn't it? And what do we got right here? We've got a sky... Oh, this is the little practice uh, facility right here. Practice jumping out. What you do is put your head out kiss your ass goodbye and jump out of the plane there we go we've got one of the uh, skydiving planes uh, right there a uh, heck of a good way to get up a lot of hours as a commercial pilot earlier in your career but there we go nzmk macho acre this is freeware in conjunction obviously we've got the nelson uh, payware add-on which i uh, previewed before but ladies and gentlemen i think you have to agree some outstanding work here by the team at nza simulations thank you again to the boys and girls there that uh, hooked me up uh, always happy to support them. I uh, love the New Zealand scenery, so please check out the description if you are keen to uh, get into some of this. Uh, uh, if you are new to the channel, how about consider subscribing? It costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect. Who's not willing to give up some of that? So make sure you hit the like button too. Let's not forget about that. And until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. Take it easy.